Austin, where we moved for college, was a big influence on us. Because again, Richard Linklater was there at that time, and, and Rodriguez was there. And, and this was in the mid to late 90s, when the independent spirit was very much coming alive. And, and so I think that feeling of, for me, who was a, a kind of a film snob, you know, like growing up, you know, like I, I just thought like, oh, you can't make a good movie unless you like are wearing a beret and smoking. Like if you're not look like Truffaut, like what are you doing, you know? And I saw Linklater get up and give a Q and A, and he was wearing jeans and a t-shirt, and he looked like a moderately out of shape ex high school athlete. And I was like, that guy's a filmmaker. Mm. Like, he looks like me, you know? And I was like, well, maybe. Maybe there is a story to be told that's not indulgent and dumb about, you know, moderately middle class white dudes. Right. Like, it, I didn't think that was film worthy at first, you know, if there wasn't famine yeah. or tragedy, you know. And I've, I've learned to like accept that that's kind of a little bit of what I know about and, and embrace it.